Hi and welcome to another Flutter tutorial. Today we're going to look at pagination. Pagination is a process where we load data based on pages. In application, when we list data, we don't load all the data at once. We load data based on number of pages so that the application uh, will be able to display data properly. So consider the following application. So the following application uh, basically uh, load data from database, which is uh, in my SQL. Uh, and it basically load data in a card view list. So uh, the total uh, number of data from the database is uh, 19. Uh, and when we implement pagination in the application or in the uh, in the screen uh, in the page so uh, at the bottom down here you can see page number uh, which means that each page here uh, consists of 10 items and if user go to the second page here uh, it will basically display uh, the rest of the item so pagination is very important uh, when we are dealing with large amount of data. So if your data is like for every query, uh, it produces uh, 100, 200 data. So we're not going to display all the data at once. Um, we're going to load data by batches. So today we're going to look at how we implement uh, pagination with index. So this is basically the simplest method. Uh, by using uh, Flutter and also uh, PHP as, as its back, uh, back end uh, services. Um, so when we look back at the, um, the application here, uh, the application basically uh, implement a very simple uh, card list, uh, which basically uh, implement by the class over here. So the class uh, called product screen dot dot uh, load the data through load products uh, method uh, from the init state method. So uh, the load product basically pass uh, this uh, number one, which basically uh, load, uh, which basically for page number. So the load products. Um, uh, determine uh, basically uh, implement the HTTP uh, the HTTP uh, library uh, to um, parse uh, the um, the load product dot uh, and then this is a post array uh, which pass a page number uh, and uh, finally uh, retrieve the data. Uh, and um, and uh, pass the data into uh, product list. Okay, so uh, that basically for load product. So which means that we load product and then we need to get uh, the list of product um, from our database through PHP. So on the right side here, this is uh, the PHP implementation for the load products.php. So the load products.php uh, start with a uh, uh, database connector. So th th this section here is just to check for if there's a post array or not. But uh, at the bottom here, this is uh, the database connector where we uh, connect to the database and, and create the connector object. Uh, and then we, uh, we set uh, the uh, result per page and here uh, we we use uh, 10 item per page uh, and that basically provided through um, through the um, limit uh, implemented through the limit keyword or SQL limit keyword here. So at first we need to get the the page first result which to indicate uh, the uh, the current page. So let's say uh, the current page number is page number two that is being um, requested to load page number two. 
uh, and then the page first result basically to determine from the uh, result per page uh, and then uh, it basically return uh, the index or the first index that's going to be retrieved uh, by using the limit uh, by, by using the limit um, from our SQL uh, statement here so but first we need to load all the data not load but we need to query or determine uh, the number of row uh, of all data uh, from the simple query here so which is select all from table product so once we have that uh, it's, it basically retrieve that number of row and then that number of row uh, indicating uh, the total number of data from the database uh, and then uh, to, to determine uh, the number of page based on the uh, number of result for example if we if the database query return 100 data or 100 row uh, to a number of page based on result per page basically divide by 10 and we get 10 pages so number of pages uh, number of pages is very important because we wanted to um, to know how many pages that basically uh, the uh, the 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 index require so once we have that then we rebuild our sql and then the sql now uh, concatenate with limit uh, which uh, will get the first index so uh, if the first index is uh, one so which is the first page that is for the first index start from zero uh, and then result per page is 10 from zero to 10 uh, if you are in page number two which means that uh, your first result will be um, at page uh, index from 0 to 9 and then 10 to uh, 19 so that basically um, how limit works so we load data based on limit and which means that we don't load all the data so now we re uh, execute uh, the SQL and it should return only 10 results uh, and finally we build our array and then uh, two dimensional array here and then finally build our respond array uh, and we push back to the application so here we pass back uh, as an adjacent data so came back to our um, uh, load product here so load product basically will receive uh, the JSON data which is uh, from our respond here so as follow so you can see at the bottom here this is basically the response so uh, it returns status success uh, with uh, page number and num of page that will be used by the uh, class uh, and then the data this is just for the data so we retrieve data and display the data inside so once we have all the data uh, and then uh, to display back the data so uh, like for example uh, for this page here at the bottom here uh, we have our uh, sim just a simple uh, size box and the size box basically implement list view uh, builder uh, and basically build uh, the uh, these uh, buttons here uh, we use as a text button uh, through the implementation of a list view builder uh, with the scroll axis set to horizontal because we want our uh, index or page index uh, to be listed uh, in horizontal uh, direction uh, at the bottom down here this is basically just for uh, for the current page so like for example if we select one so the current page is now at page one if user select two the current page now is page two uh, which turn the text color to red um, this basically determine uh, through the uh, through the current page that we retrieve uh, and then we make sure that if it is basically the same with the current page uh, with the index so we set the color to red if it is not we set back the color to black uh, and uh, the size box here this is basically for each of the indexes so at the moment we only have two so which mean that uh, there will be only two pages all right so those are very simple implementation uh, and for every text uh, text button uh, we just press here it basically call load product but to load the uh, the the intended pages okay like page one page two page three uh, 
to be able to, to, to load that particular data. Okay, so you can see there, page one and page two, they uh, practically load different data. So uh, every query, every uh, button click here, it basically will request the, uh, the data again from the database. So which means that it will only load uh, based on the number of data. Like if, for example, um, I've set the result per page here set to five only, okay, which means that every page will only return five data. So let me try to refresh that. So you can see now uh, the number of pages now increase to four pages because we already have 20 um, divided by four. So we have four, we got four pages and now you can see there are four pages with five item per page. So if we select number two, you get the second data, you select number three, you get third data, uh, four pages and uh, number four pages. So that is basically a simple pagination by using the page index at the bottom of the uh, layout. You can also implement a different uh, different um, uh, pagination method such as a uh, scroll uh, pagination which allow user like for example oops, sorry for example uh, if they would like to implement a pagination a scroll pagination which is um, uh, they will be required to to um, to load based on the uh, scroll action so when user uh, retrieve the data uh, every time the page retrieve the data uh, it uh, or reach at the bottom of the of the uh, of the scroll uh, view uh, it basically call uh, another or uh, like for example like here when we browse at the bottom so you can see that we reach at the bottom of the page so we can just um, we can just implement or call again uh, to load more data Okay, so we can we can dynamically load data based on the scrolling action. But here, this is just basically similar to 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 a web application, which basically implement um, page index uh, pagination. Okay, so that is a very simple implementation for pagination. Uh, so I hope that uh, basically uh, will help you uh, to implement pagination in your uh, Flutter application. So. Uh, you can uh, you can download or you can you can see the code the full codes um, in the uh, in the description at the bottom uh, of this video. Um, that's it. Have fun coding. Uh, bye bye.